But yes, we've been going over a Legend 88 game that's essentially uh, demonstrated this player's particular excellence in regards to this game, how they have a very, very basic understanding of this game, and last but not least, how they are demonstrating that excellence against amateur players. How they're able to show them, fundamentally, at a real basic level, what is it that they do not have in their own play. And I thought I'd keep uh, along with this particular idea and show a game, not against the 5 Don that we've uh, gone over previously, but up against the 7 Don. We're going to jump up to the, his games against 7 Don players and see just what it is between him and even a 7 Don player that is going wrong fundamentally and how he's going to capitalize on it. So that said, we have Legend 88 as black this time. We have white as our 7 Don player. Alright, we have a 3-4 stone facing a 4-4 stone immediately. We have options. We could go uh, orthodox. We could go larger. We could go into uh, many Chinese variations, depending on what he wants to do here. If black wants to play that way, one way the white can block it, of course, is to smash down a stone, immediately approach, take that option away from him, but instead, seven down just goes and takes another 4-4. Four, four. Okay, now it's up to white, or up to black, sorry, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? Black approaches, and white says Chinese variations? No, thank you. I'm going to pincer you. So, okay, we have a bit of an aggressive play going here. A lot of different things that uh, black can do. One thing that we are not going to see, and I love being able to do this because it doesn't really destroy the tree, unlike my lectures, we're not going to jump up because there are very, very, very few, very few variations or instances where this is actually going to be good for you. Because the most common variation from there is to go into something like this. We're going to get a wall. What's the wall being used for? We can see that's a nothing right now. We have no stone in use for it. So we're probably going to build in Gote, and that's a problem. So you don't really see that all very often. Jump ups, extremely rare. Instead, and hello Nizumi, welcome to the stream. Instead, black encloses. 3-3 three, three also very, very common. Very, very common at 3-3 point. This way, white blocks. We get uh, territory. White gets influence. What do you use it for? We don't know. You wouldn't block this way for the same reason that we don't like the black variation of jumping out and leaning here. Gonna get a wall here, leading to nothing. Getting a wall here, leading to nothing. Not common to see that. But alright, black encloses. White must decide how to follow up, and white decides... Two space approach, two space uh, extension. Could play here. Could play here. Well, could even play over here somewhere. Any of these are completely fine. Don't want to try to give you the impression that White has to play this. It's a reasonable move. Don't get me wrong. It does leave corner open. So all right, simply taking, direction that we are going to block is very, very obvious for the simple reason that nothing has changed. We know that building a wall the other way doesn't make sense because there's no stone over here. Nothing to tell us if this is a good idea to build up. So we don't. Makes perfect sense. So Legend 88 just takes his corner. Pretty simple game. I'd be very, very shocked if none of you have been in this exact same position before. Because all you need to know so far is to enclose and then Jiseki. Not really difficult. And both of these uh, are very, very commonly seen. So, alright. It's now White's turn. With this move, white has sente. Time to find out what to do with it. We've already extended, so we don't have to worry about being pressed from both sides. This is why this move is actually okay. Takes away a forcing. 
Um, so we could do that. We could do that. Uh, let's see. We could enclose. Could do that. Could try and attack here. That's a little bit too early in light of the fact that corner's open. And in light of the fact that we know that black wants another move. So it makes perfect sense that white's going to look at this, think to himself that, all right, Legend 88 wants to, you know, build up that. There's an open corner. It's too early to really try to build up only on one side of the board for myself. So I'm going to split. And right there, that is an interesting move. That is a very, very interesting move. Do you know why it's interesting? Are you up on your modern Jiseki and Fuseki? Because if you are, then you can look at that and think to yourself, oh, that's an interesting move. The reason why it's interesting is because it's completely fallen out of style. Which, I, I mention this in my lectures constantly, I can never get over how fascinating it is that this has fallen out of style. Because before, we taught this religiously. Like, yeah, you have an enclosure, you want to split it up, do just like separate underneath the star point. You know, you can get your extends either way, you can't really go wrong. But now it's like, eh, it's not bad, but it's a little bit slow. Usually we approach directly. Because if we approach here, as we immediately see from black, black pounces on the corner. It's like, I want to know what your response here is. Are you pincering me again, or are you backing off? White says I'm backing off. To which black gleefully plays the large knight, because it's forcing. And pow, we now have a framework on top of the board. Easy peasy. And this is the exact variation as to why this has fallen a little bit out of style now, because the corner is still blacks. This corner is growing. He's expanded on it. I mean, this is that's really, really good for black. And the only reason why black really got this is because we split in Gote. So nowadays we usually approach the corner directly. But all right, not the end of the world. All we have to do now is reduce. We're stable here. This has got pretty good room. It can still make, uh, you know, a little bit further of a base if it needs to. It can still come out if it needs to. You know, it's not in real danger. Don't need to play here again. We can deal with that. White decides it's a really great idea. Gonna hit the 3-3 three, three immediately. Immediately, we have to ask ourselves as black here, you know, okay, we've got a choice now. Which way are we gonna block? We block in this way, we block in this way. Well, in this case, we have a wall and we have a stone to use that wall with. So it makes sense that we are going to block this way. Fairly straightforward, we're just living in the corner. Aduba duba duba. Ah, playing off the board, you just lost the game. I think so. I don't know the rules of that. Does that like, is that like a tournament thing? If you actually did that in a game, would that be your move? Or would you be able to like pick it up and put it on the board again? Does it like matter from tournament to tournament? I don't really know the rules about that. Huh. Anyway, he's gonna block from behind. Reason being, if we continue this way, then this is probably gonna be Sente, right? We're just gonna block and he protects and congratulations. So that's, that's a problem, that's Sente. Uh, we want the wall. This says you're not quite alive yet. You keep. <laughs> you keep uh, grabbing your base. I like the comment in chat. And Zoomy8 says that if the stone falls off the board, you have to pick it up with your teeth. Uh, I think I'd rather just lose the game at that point. Ah, white stone. Sorry, need a white stone. There we go. Got to respond. All right, now we need to live. How to live, how to live, how to live. Need to maximize our base. So we play here. Black extends, does not let any kind of connection come underneath here just yet. Says, you know what, I'm gonna hard stop you. I want all of the influence, good sir. No choice but to respond. Cradle cutting point, sure, sure, sure. 
And even right now, you can see on the board that, yeah, this has gone pretty well. In exchange for the two-space extension, oh my god, we are getting quite a bit. So this is why we don't like playing this way, particularly uh, nowadays. Extend down, protect a cut point. Does this exist? Yes, but that's not the point. The point is the outside influence, and we are getting it quite well right now. So now it's White's turn. White decides, you know what? It's getting kind of cramped in here. Let's make it so I can get a bit of a larger base, preferably in Sente, that'd be great. Black says okay. We could lean here, I guess, but then it opens up, you know, cross cuts and playing the Hane. We could cut this side, but then what on earth do we do in regards to this? I mean, that's not a variation that we want to use because these stones are still okay. So you can probably play aggressively in the corner and still be fine on the outside. And we wouldn't want that. We wouldn't want to see that at all. So, okay. Black's just like, all right, there you go. Not much I can do. You're going to connect back. I'm going to keep my corner. Getting that base you want so much. But this is protected, right? If we cut here, we can Atari, and it just goes, it gets killed. So, what are we going to do this time? What do we do now? What do we do now? What do we do now? Well, what do you think? It's Black's move, and every single person who watches this game should be able to get the next move. Because it is a two-part move. It is a move with two things that we want to do something. What are those two things that we want to do? Typically, we want to expand, unless there's a weak group. And then we'll probably put pressure on it. But in lieu of that, expand, put pressure on our opponent. Two different things, right? And if we extend, then we're expanding. But we're also putting pressure on our opponent, because this 3-3 three, three is a very deadly invasion right now. It's very severe. Uh, chat ass will be at Congress this year? No, I will not. Sorry, a little bit too expensive for me. It's like in, what, downtown New York, right? Those prices ain't cheap. But all right, so here's the problem. Here's the catch. Here's the catch. If we respond to Legend 88 exactly as he wants us to, we know it's coming. He's going to follow up. He's going to potentially keep growing a very large area for himself. When will we get Sente back after this? When does Sente come back? When does it come back? When does it come back? Not, not returning yet. Not returning yet. So when the heck would we get Sente back? How many free moves is Black going to get? I completely agree with why he's trying to fight this. Because this is not played. He wants to fight this because he's worried about momentum. So he attacks and expands as fast as he can. It's like, alright, this is like the only area on the board that's even questionably weak. So, alright. Bam. Gonna try and do something there. Make it as small as possible, we'll pick up a few points. This is a good thing to do before we lose Sente. Unfortunately, Legend 88 reads that out. I'm like, okay, if you play here, 
Let's see what's what's gonna happen there. What's gonna happen there? Um, looks like we're gonna still be fine, right? And we're not surrounded. We can still uh, get stuff in the corner. So what's the worst you can really do there? Just try and take one little old stone, it looks like. So you know what's worth more than that? You losing your entire corner. So all right, here we go, losing our corner. Move to connect back, which is interesting. I prefer the other variation, not to criticize Legends Play, <laughs> but I prefer this variation where if we play here, we can play the Hane. And now that cut point's a problem. If back off, we can still do this and then play here and then we're alive completely. And at that point, these stones over here, we don't really know how they're going to uh, do anything. They kind of need an extension of some kind at that point. I don't know, that's my, pre that's my preference. My preference, one little, one tiny critique. But both variations are fine. Da, 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 da. Unless black gets to play twice, and that's not fine anymore, is it? There we go. All right. So either way, we corner's still gone, and you know, white still has to ha jump away. If white doesn't jump away, you can picture the devastation. I mean, who cares? It, I, I can't stress enough. In instances like this, we don't care if white even dies. Because we've already profited off of getting that free move in. We can just get territory there now. Who cares about those stones? We don't care about those stones. We just wanted that one extra move to let us keep profiting in Sente. That's all we wanted. If it dies, that's just, that's just bonus. That's just icing on the cake. So nope, can't play it. Can't play it. But this coming up is one of the many reasons why I needed to go over this game. Because if you look around the board right now, judge what's going on. Who has weak groups? Frack. No one does. Okay, that's let's just not even pretend to like ascertain like, oh, I don't know, is this corner weak? I mean, it's it's got that protected and it's got a lot there. And how about this? No, those are fine, clearly. There's more than enough room here. I mean, there's ways to connect out, there's lots of extensions, that's certainly not weak. There's no weak groups on the board. So what about territory? What's going on territorially? I mean, black's got a corner, corner, and growing. If, if this and this are about equal, and this and this are about equal, where is all of this coming from? I mean, what do we have here? 2, 4, 6, 8, let's say 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, let's say 10, just for easy countings. <laughs> so, are, is there more than 20 points up there? Plus Komi, 26. Obviously. So do we need to think up moves like, all right, I need to, oh my god, I, I need like to reduce and attack this right now where I'm going to be behind? No. Like, oh my god, I need to um, uh, do something down here right now and bring that back to life or I'm... No. Black's already ahead. So, in... I play a game called StarCraft 2. Many of you have probably heard of it. Many of you probably play it. In that game, there is a saying. When you are ahead, get more ahead. That means that you don't have to go crazy when you find yourself in a lead and march across the map and kill your opponent. Don't have to do that. All you have to do is widen your lead. And here it's pretty much the same thing. We could provoke a fight, but we don't really need to right now because we know that we're ahead. So all we're gonna do right now is get more ahead. It's like, dude, the, the, the reducing me is all on white. Don't have to do anything. It's like, it's up to you, white. I don't have to, I don't have to come to you, you come to me. You come to me, bro. You come to me. White plays the honey. It's like, yep, yeah, I'm connecting. 
a small corner. What of it? Like, well, I'm going to expand blacks. Blacks look at that. Do we have to respond to that? Okay, person in the chat just asked, should I take that philosophy to life as well? Yes, don't kill people. When you're ahead, just be happy and get more ahead. But yeah, do we have to respond to this? Is this a move that we have to respond to? I mean, our corner's fine regardless. We ignore it, maybe a couple extra points are taken. Nothing's gonna die. So, Black's just like, all right, all you can do is come out into the middle, right? That's what this is aiming for. Some kind of enlargement here, right? If this is locked out, that's a sector line and bam, we're already there. So even if you try and build up something there, I've already got my invasion in place. Not only is the invasion already in place, an expansion is as well. But it's smaller of an expansion, but it's still an expansion. Follow up. Seven Don decides to go and play here. Obvious follow. Tries to take up some few points in the middle. Reduce some of what Black's uh, building up towards. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? Now it's time to start reducing, right? Time to really get in there and be like, mmm, you're reduced. Like, play, bam, try to capture this, because we're going to totally follow up and like, threaten to cut it off and kill it. Or... Now we go over and do... No. I love this simple play. It's like, well, I... I mean, the points are there, and all, all you can do is expand so just gonna just gonna play here again that's what I'm gonna do white has no choice still gonna try to get a response out of black like you're gonna defend now man like I know your next move is gonna be a defense and maybe if you defend, I can try and cut through here. So I mean, we can kind of, we can kind of see what what White's really trying to go for. I mean, and I admire it. He's trying to look at the whole board. He's looking at these two stones here in the center. He's like, okay, I can. I, I there's a there's a chance. I might I might be able to cut those off. I can do this. I can do this. This player might be undefeated until now, but he's going down. Um, good idea. Unless there is sente. Is there sente on this board somewhere? Is there something black can do to get white from thinking about all of this thing and just like kind of distract and be like, Hoo -hoo, look over here, look over here. Is there anything that he has that he can do? Like, you know, your two-space extension's not alive as is. You probably don't want me cutting through it right now, do you? So, all right. Whatever this was going to be is now third line. Whatever it was going to be right now doesn't look like it's going to be any further. And later on, oh my god, we have a follow-up, don't we? So we're actually, we're even starting to try and maybe revive our stone. But, black defense. Like, you know what? I like my territory. I'm going to defend myself. I will defend myself. White doesn't see any hope besides trying to take some stuff for himself. Black says, by the way, there's a hole in your shape. Not really sure what White's trying to do there. Poking at a cut point is really weird. Black creates that to a cut point. Mm 
more strange moves, really doubling down on this lone area here. Blocked. A further odd move. I mean, wouldn't you like? Isn't there like? Isn't it better to do something like that? I don't know. He connects. That's a very strange shape. This is like the shape you play when you don't want your corner to live anymore. This is that would be the good shape to play. Because now, later on, you better hope that this never becomes playable. Alright. So, White responded. That's pretty well connected forever and ever and ever. Also creates a cut point to do exactly what we mentioned. Bring stones back to life. White knows if he connects, he's being reduced here. If that connects up, then he only has this for territory and that for territory, which is clearly not going to be enough. So forget that. We're fighting. Threatens to come out. White says nope. Legend 88 says, please, can I come out? And now is where you realize that you can't keep doing this. You can't. If we kept running this off, and Black got, you know, more moves, then we can read the cut is starting to kill this, but that's dead too. So we can't keep doing this. This is just a variation that didn't work. So alright, we came out. White connects. But that means black is free. And that's huge. That is enormous. White tries to hang on in there. Black's making sure his shapes are all nice and fine. Threatens a reduction, which is responded to. It's like, nope, that is my. What is that? Four, five, six, seventh line territory? <laughs> yeah, seventh line is very good. Gives a little pokey poke. Respond, which is now a threat to connect and uh, surround everything again. Very risky trying to cut him off. Decides to go for it. Risky, risky, risky. Doesn't cut. Decides to defend. And those little things there really shouldn't happen. Like, if this didn't work, if we couldn't play that right now, then we, we should, probably shouldn't have done it. Because maybe it works later. And then we're just like kind of getting rid of Aji right now. Black goes aggressive. You can see what's coming. Oops, sorry. I apparently did not see what was coming. It's going to play here first. Trying to force white to connect. White says no. This is a co. And I am going to start it. So, Alright, black takes. Why not? No reason not to. Tries for a surround. Pretty good if we connect, but this gets out, then, you know, that's, uh... Not terrible. Black connects. White protects. Starting to poke at white's shape. White has to respond in order to protect the before mentioned shape.
very unfortunate, giving up potentially those three. No, he's probably going to Atari. Probably going to Atari. Yeah, okay. Goes to try to capture. Does play the Atari. Goes into a take, which leads into a double Atari. That has to be connected. And black has to, would theoretically have to do the same thing, but unfortunately, white side's a take. So black decides to take as well, because white did not protect like he probably should have. That's now poking at a connection, giving away even more uh, co threats, I would imagine. I imagine because I am bad at co, therefore I do not really know. It's entirely possible. So all right, we're fighting over this. This little area down there. That's a lot of territory. White, white cannot give this up. In light of the fact that you know he has next to none. So takes. White actually responds because there's a lot of Aji down here right now. I mean, things like this even are even pretty large. Because do we respond here and then allow him to cut through here? Is that going to be a co? Do we back off here and allow that to be Atari and cut through and that dies, potentially? So we felt need for a defense. Doesn't connect the co, though. He's playing away. Why would he protect the co? Reduction. Pokes through. Black escalates the co. And escalates the co. And now we know we're screwed. Our shape here sucked. Our shape here was bad. We could can't do anything. Nothing we can do. How many co threats are over there, huh? And there's a few for white, granted. Sorry. Take the co. There we go. And now you're screwed. Because that was unfortunately all she wrote. Too much, too much, too much. And now you're dead. Right? I mean, white played up here instead of trying to do something. He's kept trying to fight the co, sadly. But now it was worth his entire group. And with so many large co threats on the board, how is he gonna how is he gonna protect that? He can't. There's no way he's winning it. He resigns. And it happened from really, really simple ideas. One, Black realized that he was ahead. So he didn't try anything weird down here. He didn't try anything weird over on the sides. He's like, well, I'm I'm leading right now. So I'm just gonna keep growing what I have because the game states that you have to come at me right now not the other way around so it didn't do anything weird and tricky the weak group right here would have changed everything before all that was solidified if he like got a weak group here that ran that might have been wiped out as he had to run back to safety so this that could have actually changed everything and you probably had that happen in your own games as well so yeah, none of that crap happened. None of that crap happened. It's like, I'm ahead, getting more ahead. That's all. I thought the game was pretty cool. I'm probably going to go over another Legend 88 game in a couple of days. It'll probably be another Legend 88 versus a 7 Don game. So you can look forward to that. 
I have a couple of my own games that I have played that I also intend to upload uh, sometime this summer. I kind of want to actually get the series done before I upload. But you can look forward to those too. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed stopping by or watching this on YouTube or wherever you happen to view it. Hope you enjoyed the game. I always enjoy Legends game whenever I go over them. I hope you do as well. So take care everyone.